Why haven't you started your own business? Well, we're going to interview a person who decided to start their own business and looking to take their side hustle to a full-time gig when we get back. I'm CLM2 for With Power, the channel that helps find the power within you. He's giving me power, all power, all power. Hey, happy Monday, everybody. We hope everyone out there had a fantastic weekend and uh, it was a great, great weekend. The weather is beautiful as we are now in October. So, you know, fall is coming. Well, I had the pleasure of interviewing an individual who will be taking their side hustle to a full-time gig in 2022. And she's a lovely lady. She is in the affiliate marketing business. And for those of you who don't know what affiliate marketing is, uh, she's going to tell you a little bit about it in this interview. So, let's take a look. Hey, this is Clifford L. Marshall II for With Power. And as you all know out there, I've been doing a series on why haven't you started your own business? And I have a special guest with me. Um, her name is Troy Travis. And she actually has started her own business and she's thinking, or she probably will be going full time by next year. So I'd just like to introduce you to Troy Travis. Hi, Troy. How are you? I'm good, Clifford. How are you? Good, good, good. So um, let's um, give a little history. I met Troy about five years ago, and we, we met uh, really, really quickly and really briefly. And we, we hadn't met anymore after that, but we kind of been following each other on social media. And... Um, I, you know, I've been watching her social media page and uh, I just seen a completely different person over the last year because I noticed that um, she was commenting on my, why haven't you started your own business uh, videos? And she said, I'm about to go full time in my business. And I said, okay, I got to get you on a call. Uh, so Troy, first, let me just say, you know, thanks for doing this on such a quick notice. I know I kind of, I kind of muscled you into this really quickly. So I appreciate you. Uh, doing this. So we're going to start with a little bit of your history from following you over these five years. I know that you are a mother of a handsome son because you always talk about him. So talk a little bit about your, your lovely child. Okay. So um, I have an adult son. He's <laughs> um, soon to be 31 and um, he plays professional basketball overseas. So he's always traveling. I don't, I don't get to see him too often, but you know, when he does come, you know, he kind of get tired of me because, um, you know, I just, I take him everywhere I go. I talk about him. You know, people get tired of hearing me talk. But listen, yeah. that, that's my child. I, you know, that's that's yeah. that's what a mother's supposed to do. You know, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So then I know that you actually served our country in the military. Which branch were you in? I was in the United States Navy. So first, let's say, let me say to you, thank you for your service to this, uh, to this country. And when did you join the, uh, the, the service? Was it out of uh, high school? I, or? It was uh, maybe, I think three years after high school is when I joined. Um, so that was, that was back in the uh, mid eighties. And when did you, I mean, did you know you wanted to be military or in those three years you just decided to go? Um, you know, I made the decision to go in the military because of how my home life was at home. And I think a lot of young people our age, you know, they're not, I mean, at that age, at that time, you know, and growing up, growing up in the South Bronx and, and, you know, just don't have any guidance or don't know what they want to do with their lives or whatever. They just, they just decide, you know, well, maybe I'll, I'll join the military, you know, I'll just maybe join a job corps or something. They just right. make a decision to just, you know, get something different in their, in their lives. And that's why I, I decided to join the military because I didn't, I didn't like the way my life was going at that time. Okay. I think when we were talking earlier, you said that you always had that entrepreneurial spirit, you know, within you. Where did that, where did that come from? I did. Um, I, I can't really say where it came from. I guess it's just, it's people that I've met throughout my life and um, seeing the different paths that they, they've taken. And, um, and I just always felt that I, I just didn't want to do a nine to five for the rest of my life. I, I just always had that entrepreneurial spirit um, in the back of my mind. But 
what was holding me back is just is the fear. I just never took the initiative. It was it was just the fear right. um, of uh, it was the fear of failing. It was a fear of just taking that step and and then if you fail and now you know the people that you, around you will say, okay, see, I told you, you know, you yeah. worry about what other people think and and mm. and you know just all of that, all of that. So all that stuff was going in. Yeah, that's uh, that's usually keep a lot of people back. Um, so you never grew up around any entrepreneur. There was nobody in your family ever started a business or anything no. like that. No, no. I see. I think you come from a pretty, you know, not big, big family, but you have a pretty, you have a substantial sized family. So I've seen some of your pictures. Yeah, I have a good sized family. Um, the thing is, you know, I'm the oldest of five, so okay. everybody's following me. Yeah, you know, so to speak. Everybody's yeah. following me. And, you know, mm -hmm. I have a, I have a brother, one of my brothers that's close. We're very close mm -hmm. and he, he follows me. So every, any, anything I did, any step that I've taken in life, he did the same thing, Right. you right. know, and it makes me feel good. And then I didn't also, I also realized you never know who's watching you. Yeah. You never know who's watching you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my brother, he, um, when he got married some years ago, and you know, when you at, at weddings, um, you know, when they, they say, you know, I need, uh, they want people to come up and, and make a speech, you mm -hmm. know, make a speech about the bride or the groom or whatever. Mm -hmm. So my brother actually took the time out and, and spoke about me at the wedding, at his wedding, mm -hmm. and said that how much he looked up to me. And I'll never forget this speech. He said, he said, she went in the military. I went in the military. She went to college. I went to college. He said, if she goes to the moon, I'm going to the moon. And I mean, that got a standing ovation. And you know, with me, the tears started the tears coming started in. I'm crying now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so wow. yeah, so that's just, you know, and that from, you know, that moment that told me, you know, you never know who's watching you. So, you know, you, yeah. you lead by example, you don't, you, and, and you stay humble. You just do what you got to do, mm -hmm. do the right thing. And, and you never know, you know, who's going to follow you and who's going to watch you. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, I didn't tell you, as you say, you went to college, what college did you go to? Monroe college. Hey, right there in the Bronx. Okay. You know, yes, I'm, at, yes. I'm at Bronx community college. So we're not far from, you know, from right. Monroe. From Monroe right. College. Okay. Uh -huh. And what degree did you get from Monroe? Uh, business administration. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So you, you had that in your mind for a long time. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, but I think I read somewhere, I've seen somewhere, you said you were kind of introverted, you were a little shy, you, you know, so that's why you really never took that step. Right. That's another thing, also. You know, I was always, I was extremely shy. And, um, you know, I don't know if you, you said you, you, you saw my profile and mm -hmm. I, I put a lot of content out there and I put, yeah. I mostly put a lot of, a lot of stuff about my personal life and me growing up. And I did put a content out about myself being an introvert and um, people who knew me from the past know I was extremely shy. I didn't know how to express myself um, very well or whatever. I've gotten, you know, I've gotten better as I got, as I got older. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, I just always had a problem with expressing myself and mm -hmm. just not speaking up, and yeah. um, you know. But um, uh, you know, I've grown over the years. You know, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're doing this interview, and that's great. <laughs> um, so okay, so then, you know, time has passed, and then um, you start putting content out there. And when did you join social media? Did you join social media in the last like five years, 10 years? How long? I, I joined social media in 2010. Okay, so it's been about 10 years. Yes. And I guess, yes. I guess that helped you with your communication skills because you, you were putting content out there. Yes, I'm putting content out there. So um, so I got into the, you know, the, the, the affiliate market came, it, it came as a secondary thing because I was really looking into uh, putting out a clothing business online and what actually got me into trying to get into my own business is last year you know with COVID and everything it was it was just devastating and and I, I lost family members and and some good friends of mine wow. and 
you know, when these, when things like that happen, I, I, I get in that thinking mode and I just start thinking and wondering how my life is going to be. And I, I really just start getting into that, that serious thinking mode. So I just decided, you know, uh, let me do my online, let me do my own business. Um, I'm going to be retiring soon. And, um, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to take a step. I'm just going to jump out of my comfort zone and I'm just going to do this. You know, I, I won't, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do this and I'll just find my way as I go. And right. I, and that's what I did. You know, I came, a friend of mine got in contact with me and told me about the affiliate business. And, you know, I wanted to know a little more about it. So, you know, he explained it. We got on a Zoom call and he gave me more, <clears throat> more information about it. Right. So I said, okay, I think, I think this, this is what I want to do. You know, I think this okay, is Okay, so let's back up a little bit. So okay. you actually, you wanted to do your own business and your first thought was to do a clothing business. So why was yes. that your, why was that your first thought? Um, because, you know, it was, it was going to be a woman's line and, so I figured, you know, I know about women's clothes, of course. <laughs> because you're a woman? Is that what you're Yeah, because I'm a woman, you know. So I know a little bit about women's fashion. Right. And um, so, you know, so I figured, you know, that's that's what I was going to do. You know, that's that's what I was going to do. I mean, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was my passion, right. but it was just something I was just thinking of it'll be something of my own, you know, it would be my business, my own business. And, and I'll have a little idea of what I need to do. Um, and just, just get into it, just, you know, and just learn as I go, you know, as okay. I go along, I just wanted to get started into something, you know. Now where you, and then you, you told me that the gentleman who you met now, let, let everyone know that your business is affiliate marketing which I've, uh, I've, you know, I know a little bit about affiliate marketing and I think it's a great concept. So I'll let you tell it. You said a friend of yours seen that you were looking to do a business and he contacted you. Yes, he, con he contacted me. Um, so uh, we had a conversation and, um, and then, um, so we then, then we got on a Zoom call and then we, so we talked more in depth, you know, on a Zoom call. And then uh, he just, he's, you know, what he was saying to me made a lot of sense. And it also seemed a little better for my convenience because the, you know, the clothing line business, business you have to deal with vendors, you have to get the platform and, and you have to pay the fees, uh, monthly fees, things like that. You got to worry about shipping and you got to do all of these things. And I'm, I'm not knocking that kind, that type of business, I'm not knocking at, but I wanted something a little more simpler something that I have to worry about all of those things. Okay. Uh, so the way he explained it to me is, um, he said, you don't have to worry about no inventory and things like that. What it, you know, what it is, is um, you're promoting someone else's product. Right. You know, you're promoting someone else's product. And, they, and each time that you make a sale, you get a commission. Right. And so, so the bottom line is this affiliate marketing business is, I'm in the business of helping people start their own online business in affiliate marketing. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. So the same way that he helped you, now you're helping other people do the now same I'm thing. Now I'm helping other people do yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, just let the audience know, affiliate marketing is something that every major company uses. Um, I mean, you, you would think that a company as big as Amazon or Walmart wouldn't need affiliate marketing, but they have affiliate marketing programs where you can join it's and, and uh, Amazon is probably one of the biggest where everybody on there is doing some type of affiliate marketing or they're, yeah. they're doing their business. So Absolutely. it's really, it's, it's really, really a great business. And you've been doing it for how long now? I started January 1st. Oh, this year, 2021. This year. This year. Wow. Okay. January and it's, it's going really well for you right now. And things has been going really well. You know, I'm getting a good following now. Okay. Um, you know, people are seeing me and the whole idea of this is to present yourself. You know, you have to be present online so people can see you. Right. And the whole objective is for people to get to know you, to like you and trust you. Right. Okay. Right. And, and once they have those, and once those principles are in place, then they're willing to buy from you. They'll purchase from you. And that's really true for that's really true for any business. Um, you know, when people trust you and they like you, 
Sometimes uh-huh. they don't even care what you're selling. They just say, I like you, and I know that you've always done well by me. So whatever you're selling, mm-hmm. I'm going to buy. So uh, Exactly. That's the whole objective. They don't care mm-hmm. what you're selling. As right. long as that's why I say you the most thing, the, the most important thing is you have to present yourself online every day. Yeah. You have to put yourself out there, let people see your lifestyle, let people see who you are, your personality, and you get that group of people that can resonate with who you are. Right, right. Now, what now do you have a name? I mean, do you have a company set up? Is, I mean, do you have a name or do are you underneath somebody else? How's it work? Yeah, I don't have a name, it's just you know, I'm just I'm an affiliate marketer. That's okay. basically what I am. Now, mm-hmm. in the once you get into the business more in depth, then eventually I'm gonna have my own personal private group. Okay. You know, which will also attract more people into the group, and I will give trainings. Uh, you know, to help people that are that is in the business but is not not doing well. So mm-hmm. I will be giving trainings. I will also be offering coaching services okay. um, as, as well. So all of that, you know, comes together with, with this business. Now, um, so if, if someone else was thinking about looking for something to do and they were just like you, they, you know, they were, you know, a, a hardworking individual and they just say, I don't want to do a lot of stuff. What would you say to them right now? Okay. First, first of all, you know, if they say like, I don't do a lot of selling, you know, I would first thing I would tell them, well, I didn't do a lot of selling either. I didn't have no experience in the sales industry, marketing. I didn't have no background in it, you know, but I gave it a shot. I just, I just jumped into it because I wanted to do something different. And I wanted to, I wanted to, I want to see if I had it in me to really go out there and try something new, try something different. And, um, you know, and I, I'm glad I did, you know, so you never know what your potential is until you try. You have to make That's the right. effort. You just have to get out there and, and, and try and make the effort. That's great. That's fantastic. All right. So um, where can, because now you're trying to find other people who you can help in the, in the do this business. So if someone wants to get in contact with you and wants to learn more about what you're doing, where should mm-hmm. they go? Well, they can first off go on Facebook because that's where I, I potentially meet the majority of my clients or students, as you may, may call them also. But the majority of them, they contact me through Facebook. They, you know, their friend requests me first and then they'll message me in Messenger. So I usually start up my conversations with them in Messenger. Okay, so they just have to look up your name, Troy Travis? Look up my name, Troy Travis. Okay. Yeah, friend requests okay. me. Or just send me a message in the messenger. Okay. Um, they can contact me on Instagram. Okay. You know, uh, so I'm under Miss uh, Ms. M Z. Yeah, yeah Ms. Yeah. Troy. Yeah, yeah Ms. I'm gonna, Troy. I'm, I'm gonna put all that in the video so they'll see all the oh. videos. video. So. Okay. So you okay. got Troy Travis for Facebook and you got Ms. Troy for Instagram. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's great so so Troy I want to thank you again for you know for joining me and uh so folks listen as Troy said if she can do it you can do it you know don't be afraid you absolutely know, absolutely you know, just, just jump out there and make it happen I'm definitely yes. going to put all of her information in the description and mm-hmm. uh you'll be able to see uh what she's about and, and listen contact her affiliate marketing you know do your research affiliate marketing is, is a is, is big business and uh you know so troy i want to thank you i appreciate that thanks for reaching out to me appreciate it well there you have it troy travis is taking affiliate marketing business and she's going to make it a full-time gig in 2022 and she's looking to help a bunch of people who may be interested in starting their own online business in affiliate marketing Uh, She feels it's a great business to get into at this time. It's been around for a while and it's still booming, especially because the pandemic had a lot of people doing a lot of online stuff. Well, there you have it. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, uh, hit that like button. If you're on Facebook and Instagram and share this. And I'm going to be doing some more interviews with individuals 
who are taking their side hustle and making it a full-time gig. Well, that's it. And I will see you next time.